when you bring the mind to the breath, very often it doesn't want to stay there. It'll stay for a little bit and then go running off. You bring it back, it goes running off again. Because it's used to running around. We talk about children going through an unruly age. But even after they grow up, many times their, their minds stay in an unruly age until they die. So we've got to learn how to give the mind some sense of its boundaries, what's appropriate, what's not appropriate, where it's, what's actually good for it and what's not. It's like teaching a child to eat its vegetables. At first the child resists, but as it gets older, it begins to realize that the vegetables really do taste good and really are good for you. And so at the beginning it takes a little while for you to be firm with the mind, to remind you, okay, this is where you really want to stay. And then as it begins to settle in, it finds that it, you can find a sense of comfort, a sense of well-being in the present moment. But even then, the mind likes to go running off. This is why we need discernment, to keep after the mind all the time, to remind ourselves, okay, there's more to be done here. This is a skill you really want to master. Because when the mind goes wandering off, you need, and one of the important skills you need is knowing when to just drop it and come right back. Because sometimes your thoughts can get you really entangled. And we can't wait for somebody from outside, what they call the deus ex machina, to come out and pull us out. We've got to pull ourselves out, so we have to learn that, that talent, that skill. That you're willing to stay put for a long period of time, and you're willing to pull yourself out of anything, no matter how interesting it may be. It's only then that the mind is safe. So sometimes you depend on the sense of well-being that comes from the concentration to get you through, and other times you have to depend on your discernment to remind you, okay, it may seem more interesting someplace else right now, but that's not where you really want to be. As the Buddha once said, one of the signs of discernment is learning how to talk yourself out of doing things you like to do, but you know that in the long term are going to cause trouble. Or talk yourself into doing things you don't like right now, but you know in the long term are going to bring happiness. That's the kind of discernment that really matters, that really makes a difference. So try to bring that kind of discernment to your meditation, to remind yourself, okay, the mind needs to be trained, otherwise it's going to be an unruly child all its life. And we know what unruly children do. Make a huge mess, and then they go running off. Leave a mess for other people, and then they themselves have to live with a mess. Nobody benefits. But when the mind is trained, it's like a well-trained animal. The well-trained animal does its work, other people benefit, and the animal itself gets a reward. So learn to look at the training of the mind in this way. It's something that's going to have some difficulties, but it's something that's going to give you huge benefits. Not all of its benefits are saved for the end, but the really big benefits are going to come at the end, more than you could expect. <laughs>